What up, World Warriors? Frosty Foul Seeds 2024. We are here live to bring you some top eight Super Turbo action out here in the cold. You know, this is the only time of the year that I see snow, and I wouldn't have it anywhere else here. Frosty Foul Seeds 2024, baby! 2024. That's right. I'm the one and only Miami's very own, the Mike Demon. Team Chris, alongside here, a fellow, another DDR champion, and the only person, one of the only two people who beat me in Outrun 2. Grant. So Grant K, you know what it is. You've been seeing me all weekend. You've been seeing Chris all weekend. It ain't the first time, it won't be the last time. You'll probably see us all year and other stuff, whatever it be. So get used to it. You don't like it, I don't care. Yeah. Anyway, we <laughs> about to see some top action, top eight, super turbo. We in this. Um, we have a wide character spread. There's really no one who is repeating character-wise. Uh, as you see, we got Hokuto and Comeback. They oh, are in winners. Um, we got Climax and Yuki. Coast to coast. So we are all over the place. We got Mexico. We got Philly. We got Philly again. So Philly repping strong. And, of course, you know, we got DFW out here, uh, Texas representing. And the losers. Baby. We got Butter Toast and J-Pong. So that is going to be Chicago V. DFW again. So we got a couple people from DFW. They're representing again. And then Bonky and Angel. And of course, Bonky and Angel play each other. So, you know, those two as well as Butter Toast train together all the time. But nothing's as fun like Blanca Chun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chicago filling out the losers bracket here, but they in it. It's top eight. There was a lot of great competition. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Hokuto, come back. Um, Hokuto, a strong claw player, but pretty strong with a lot of characters, to be oh, honest. Yeah. And very, very well versed as well. I mean, also last year at uh, Combo Breaker, you should also know that Hokuto sent Mao. That's right, Mao. He won and only the losers. Yep. Yeah, that was a big deal as well. Also on the other side, Comeback, one of the strongest Philadelphia players. When I was first yep. up and coming in Super Turbo, Comeback was one of the first people that was able to beat me as well. Now, as you mentioned here, um, Comeback may have a pocket Balrog here, Grant, yep. that he may be able to use, because this matchup is not very ideal for either character, but let's see who masters the skies. Either it's going to be the Bun Slam or going to get some grabs or going to get some slashes. We'll see. Ooh. I mean, one thing about this matchup is it's their jockeying for position. And if you're Honda, you're really trying to not get crossed up because exactly this. Oh. So a lot of times, Honda is fighting to get into the corner as well as stop a lot of aerial situations, but just couldn't get it going there. Yeah. And Claw did Claw things. And you can see, yeah, Claw things. Hokuto looking very comfortable going coast to coast. Either he's jamming with the Whalers or he's flying it over the dancers hey. there. And you can see that he was stuffing some of comeback Stan Fierce there, which is a very strong anti-air from Honda, which he just happens to have the ability to delete. And here we go. It's tried and true. We have seen how he times it by frame killing with the low forward there. We are talking about those heels. No balls, baby. All oh, no, right. he missed the anti air. He's gonna make him pay with that command grab. you gonna get that first toy chill. We're gonna see. Is he gonna do what the That's namesake says, Grant? No. no, it's not. I was gonna say, is he gonna do the namesake comeback? Right. You know, but, uh, but it's just the first round, Kings. We got this, yeah. all right? Kings and Queens, you know, so. So stay tuned, more Super Turbo action is coming your way. And I do like the comeback was trying to establish an Oki game where he would get the knockdowns and try to make it so Hokuto is guessing, is he gonna throw hands? Is he not gonna throw hands? Is he gonna try to go for a tick throw situation? And you really, you know, those are prime opportunities in this matchup. He decides to hang back this time. Surprised he didn't try to jump in and, you know, establish some Oki again. Yeah, he's having none of that. I'm going to oil my way on out of here and just move on to the next aisle, do some shopping here. Now, but All right, I like that's not safe. Um, that is not. No. Um, you know, it's tricky. It's just a lot of things you're used to doing with Honda. Um, this is not to take away from comeback at all whenever you say that's not safe. It's just uh, some of his habits, Claw just takes him away. And he's like, I'm fast. I can punish that. You got to know when to chase. You got to know when yeah. to bait, especially in this matchup. It's very critical to do that. Um, I like how Comeback's trying to do some maneuvering here to fly underneath the radar there. We saw how he responded earlier with Anoichu in those situations. You need more of those things. But like I said, you, but like you were saying, you, you overcommit. Like, there's just things that are unsafe, and having that good mental awareness to take care of it will take you far. Now we're getting the critical sounds here as we got the super going no, out there. You oh, cannot no, cannot do that. Yeah, you know, I think class. the comeback is trying to fish for some uh, guesses here, it's seeming, and you just, you gotta be careful. It's Claw, he's dangerous. Yeah, that's um, one thing about Hokuto, too, is he can come off looking like he's going on the yellow style, yeah. but then at the same time, he can just slow it down and then work and get some punishes in there, as we saw as he takes a 2-0 lead of winners. Yeah, now he's just flipping back, he's getting down to the sound. Okay, oh, here we got he goes. Good block there from comeback. Yeah, big Azuna energy. We're going to see another one then. Caught him chasing. Oh, Caught him crossing. It's time to play the oh. game. 
It's all about the debt. And can you pay it? Because it's match points. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Okuno going Super Saiyan. Bars, baby. Oh. I'm looking for a record deal this year, by the way. So yeah. That's coming out. <laughs> Big Azuna Energy, more of that. Claws to the chest. Hey, this time can't get us wrong again. And he pressed a button on Wake Up, and that was a perfect. Yeah, Crystal Flash. So come back just walking off there. But can he come back in the losers to prove his namesake once and for all and represent yeah. the Philly boys out there getting it done? But that was very decisive by Hokuto, man. Just ooh, put on a clinic. It's like in baseball where you say three up, three down. Exactly, just pitching to perfection. You know, everything just getting over the edge of the plate as we saw, but still managing to stay within that strike zone. Yep. And we just saw the mix of odds. Maybe he's gonna, st he's gonna go. What we're saying is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Claw, look at his colors. He's the Houston Astros of the early 2000s. Ooh, <laughs> bars. That is BGO. That is Bagwell. That is Bell. Well, I mean, you know, you're almost on your geography here. I mean, just off by a few miles because we got DFW, Dallas Fort Worth's very own Yuki. Yeah. Now, I know Yuki is a very godlike third strike player. Uh, I went over to Texas Showdown, and I honestly believe that he gave me the worst beating of my life <laughs> in third strike. Oh, he's so good. Yo, he, he does Ganajan, yeah. and his Ganajan fills up the meter again for another Ganajan. Yeah, I've no, seen this guy, Ganajan to Ganajan on Ganajan. That's how it is, Grand, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. this bracket is stacks on stacks on stacks on it stacks, really son. It really is. And you know, shout outs to, you know, it's not even just the top eight, but you look at the top 16 here and just, uh, there were situations just so many people could have oh, got why, in. Why you gotta say top 16? Because I got 17th, right? Oh my God, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's right, it's a team Chris yeah. cut up, y'all. Yep. yep, hey chat, I had no idea. <laughs> hey, I was just here to get you know anyway, me. You know. Yeah, of course, you know me, I was in a mystery all weekend working. Hey, it got me working, working day and night. Hey, like, uh, that champion, like baby. Yeah. yeah, like you were off the wall. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Hey. All right. So here, guys, let me introduce this to you. This match is happening for the first time ever. You, from what I heard, Yuki and Climax have never battled before. Yeah. Climax, you all know him as a combo breaker champion with the Balrog. I've crossed paths with the dude before. His eyesight is sharp, and you're going to catch these hands. It's guaranteed. Oh, good response with the throw there, getting away from that open situation. But did you see him confirm that low forward? That, that, yo, did he just go psycho with the low forward? He did. I didn't even see how he could fit a charge in that. Ooh. That's one sneaky dictator, man. All right. Snuck out of the way there. And this can be a little, you know, to describe anyone who's not familiar with this matchup, Dictator's trying not to get locked down. There are a lot of instances where Boxer, he's just so on you with pressure, and Dictator has no reversal here. So, you know, he's kind of counting on certain mistakes, but also he's got to have good positioning and make use of his escape tools and his uh, kind of, you know, we'll call them neutral skip because everyone likes that word this year. Yeah. Um, but, uh, he's, you know, he's trying to avoid getting locked down here, which is just... Boxer's Great whole game plan. That's a stand roundhouse. That's a standing medium kick, and that's yep. a four. Oh, Ow, cross in the up. back. Cross up, gut punch. Yuki taking care of business, going up 1-0 on the combo breaker champion here. I like another both like between rounds, like adjusting their glasses. You gotta yeah. get that. You gotta get, we're not looking for 2020. We're looking for 40-40 vision tier. 40-40 vision, that's how you can see those reads ahead. So exactly, this match for the first time ever. Yuki looking in charge here, just as you were saying, Grant, just deleting the neutral in what ways he can. All right, there he goes, corner situation. Gets oh. the headbutt, kind of guessed right there. Again, just when you thought he was able to lock him down in the Uso Penitentiary, my man Yuki was able to get that low forward in the Psycho Crusher, yo. Ooh, Ooh he he came to the tip. Yeah! Great awareness, great spacing there. And that's why he's like, hey, you know, I may have your hey. name. I may have your name in international markets, but like, you know, your name is on these hands. Right. That's that Bison Metallic game. Uh, in the meantime, we are back in the middle of the screen. He's locked down. He's in the corner. Uh, all right. You got to guess right here. He guesses right. He got out of there. He's got the life lead. Ooh, he's I got like, super. I like how he challenges the head stops there. Super goes full screen, passes over, no punish. Uh, that's yeah, like a, a question. A, a, a little too a, close a, for comfort, a, Yuki. A. Oh, no, but he, he got the throw! He was a little too close there. Man. I could see what he was going for, and he just he got reverse throw. Bro, that situation there, man, I was channeling my inner James Chen. I was like, will it unalive? Let's get oh, that. Yeah. So we're not demonetized, plus yeah. by CPM. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we in there. That was, hey. Yeah, duffed right there with that stand fierce. I like the way Climax Where responded. Where do you think you're going? Right here, man. You know, I remember like the, the legendary custody of Dominic ladder match between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. Right here, this match you're seeing is for the custody of Ed. 
And Yuki! So he got the poke there while Boxer was walking backwards, which is risky because he could have just gone into super at any point. Could have, yeah. But, I mean, hey. even though he's up 2-0, -oh, are you sensing that this may be a bit of a Pyrrhic victory for, yeah. uh, for Yuki's uh, dictator? Hey, Ray stops the sweep. Ooh. Pressure to the corner. My boy oh, wanted to cross, cross up with the fierce. Uh -oh. How did he? He got those hands on the other side. He took his hands outside the club. He pulled out some of the snow outside of the Francis bed. He went like, here, we getting cold. Match point. Wow, bamboozle. I really think that Climax thought he was in a combo for the TLD that he was not. Oh, indeed. But let's see how Climax responds. I mean, you know, this he's been very used to being on the ropes here as the Midwest has challenged him to push him to be a better boxer. Yeah. We want to see those comebacks. You've seen it no, no, before. No, no, oh, He didn't have charge. Couldn't capitalize there. Yeah, you can just got the rug swept from under his feet there trying to get the punish to close it out. The throw. Big scoop, but he got the tech. Good headbutt. And the headbutt to take it back. Climax lives to fight another round. All right, do or die. Oh, the poke. It's so deceptive, too, man. Y Yuki's got more surprises with this character's hitboxes than both Royal Rumbles. Oh, goodness. Unless AJ right. Lee comes back. Chip, <laughs> damage, jabbed out of it. Push, oh, he can super. Three gloves, yep. into scissors, cut, cut. And Good throw, no, that goodbye. Side switch? That side yeah. switch, son? Yeah. All right. Man, he was, he I was apologize. just in rhythm there, man. I wasn't familiar with your game. That was that was brilliant stuff by Yuki, man. You know Yuki, Japanese for courage. Mm-hmm. Got I mean, it in his spades. And I mean, let's talk about this guy's background. I mean, word on the street is, is this guy used to just train over in the Gulf lands, over in uh, in SoCal, man, or North Cal. Yeah, no. I don't know my Cali too well, but yeah, yeah. But no, he goes way back, and you can see it in a lot of the different games he plays, uh, just in terms of uh, character knowledge, adaptability. Yep. Because you know, this isn't even the only character that Yuki plays in this game, and this is not his main. <laughs> No, it's not. If you see his gun is in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is a work of art. Yes. I mean, it's a really, I mean, the, I've seen guns do great things. I mean, I know we love watching Gun get it done. But like, this guy built up another Ganagian in the middle of Ganagian. And I just remember him doing it and I'd be like, what? Right. Anyway, we got uh, Jay Pong and we got Butter Toast. Um, Chicago and DFW again. Um, so we are seeing the same matchup we just saw. Um, but two other people. Yeah, Butter Toast, I remember, I mean, I've crossed paths with him. He's definitely one of the boxers aside, along with Climax, who've done a number on me as well. But Jay He's been Pong placing a lot of top eights, top 16s. Uh, as he's been traveling and whatnot, putting in the work. And I think comparatively, Butter Toast is probably the newest player of Super Turbo. But, uh, you know, he's been at it and he's been serious. And hey. Yeah, he's been grinding. He's definitely one of the better boxers. We've seen him be able to get in the top eight in a lot of other Super yeah. Turbo tournaments. And just does a fantastic job with that. Oh, he anti aired the headbutt and got three media punches on yeah. that. <laughs> and he would have got Super Two if he had it. Oh, my man, that is like when. Oh no, that hey, you gotta. He dropped that there. Oh, the scissors. He turned around and <laughs> Jay Pong takes him down. You know, when you see when you see Boxer at this level of how he plays, I mean, it's very interesting because I saw Climax and a few times Buttertoast able to sneak in like a four yeah. into the tap there. So watch out for that because it's deceptive because that's one of the original robbery bunch. Oh, he's flashed, you know, he flashed his phone. He sent a message out there. He's dedicated. He, 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 he showed a us out. a picture of his dog. Oh, I know he miss. I, I, hey, hey, we miss your best friend out there. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know, man. Dogs are fam. You know. All right, Stein. Goodbye. Clicking it on all cylinders, yep. baby. And I know some things happen with Jay Pong. He almost went home. He almost was like, I don't want to play in the tournament. And look at you here. Look at him here, man. I mean, not eight. only does he get himself a medal, but he might be able to get himself a little bit of more money. Yeah. He's got the light lead here. Chip sticking to safe pressure. Not going for the tick grabs here. Just going ahead and taking his chip. Uh, throws that full screen. Yeah. I it, love. Hey, he challenged two of them in the row with the uh, with the headbutt. He's like, I'm batting a thousand here, Dale. But this time was not able to cut yeah. through that last one by Jay Pong. All right. You know, Jay Pong is surviving. He's taking a different approach from Yuki here. Like, and it looks like he's just is uh, you know a little bit more grounded, but just able to kind of just keep the pressure playing a little a little bit differently, more focused defensively. But again, dictator doing the job here, deleting boxers. Hey, yo, you know he is uh, Boxer's boss, so I don't know if the uh, HR needs to know about this or what. 
Uh, we still don't know the end situation here. Yeah. Like, it literally is Ray and Eddie, you know? Hey, hey, he's going to live. The throw? Yep. Oh. oh, he went for it again. That was just such a heads up play. Yeah. He knew that he knew that Jay Pong was pocket committed into getting that standing strong in that circle there. Oh, I, yo, I love Buttertoast's headbutt game, man. Hey, Ooh. wow, the call out. That's the I know you're going to press a button, but. Yeah, definitely rewards. Buttertoast looking really good this round. Bro, here's Jay Pong fighting back. No. I love the punishes against this headbutts, too. The few hey, what? Goes, what? <laughs> I guarantee you that wasn't on purpose. But that's ST. It's getting wacky. He's not going to tell you it wasn't on purpose, though. Yeah. No, he's not. Don't expect a pro player to ever do that. Oh, he almost double dipped the blue medium kicks, but nah, nah. Just trying to stay around a little longer. You again. Oh, no, ran into the scissors. And you know, it seems a couple of times at least Buttertoast did not catch when Super was on the map um, and just kind of threw things that would stop most things. Just uh, Super closed out the round. Jay Pong on match point here. Fakes the cross up, empty jumped into the throw. Got Buttertoast down to 40% of the HP. All right, let's get critical. Oh, that was a five. Okay. That sets up the throw and sets up the Okazeme. Switches sides. Dictator having none of it. Nah, forget that. Two headbutts to the face. Doesn't even use the super for the shit. Nah, and that was the first point. Boxer scores on Dictator there. It might be a taste of democracy. We're going to see how it keeps going. Workers' revolution. <laughs> He said, this is what you get for not giving us a union. Oh, he's such a jerk. He's looking at the claw. He's like, I got another of the four kings coming your way. Oh, no, he's looking around. Like I guess oh, I know he plays him. a Ryu. Um, so who knows who we're going to see, though. Again, Yuki capable of playing whoever. Now he's, he's sticking with the dictator. Uh, J-Pong, I'm sorry. J-Pong also has a Ryu. So, like, you never know with Yuki or J-Pong. Out in DFW, they're crazy out there. And they, they surprised, you know? I don't know how familiar you are with what goes on there, but for a while they had a children's Super Turbo League. I the did, yeah. The only one going on, yep, yeah. in, like, the entire country. Um, so shout-outs to everybody, you know, keeping this alive, even with the kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, good headbutt there from Butter. Shout-outs to the free player kid, man. They're yeah. awesome people, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, goes for the double traverse. A little satanic inverses not connected there. Everybody there. sitting on super. All right, you cannot punish. Gets the tick thrown. And sometimes you just got to get out of there. No, uh, yeah. Definitely, this puts Jay Pong up 2-1. Now on match point, taking to the skies oh, there, changing it. Oh, wow. Yo. He's on blue fire. He did that psycho crusher so close. Yep. That's kind of where you got to do it, because if you throw it from too far, he's going to go ahead and headbutt you. Oh, trade with the scissors there. No, do another rush punch, and that is almost it. He has the owl, oh, cannot handle the chip. Goodbye. That was awesome. So, I mean, good comeback effort there from Butter Toast. Very impressive there. But Jay Pong just represented. We got two dictators going further yep, up there. Two DFW dictators. What's going on in Texas? Y'all all right? No, they work hard. They be training, man. Hey. Shout out to my, shout out to my man, Javi, you yeah, know? Yeah, but Dictator, he that's an evil character choice. It is. Especially in this game. It's such yeah. A, he's such a devilish character, man. I like I like this drip, by the way. I like the Battleship Gray. It's yeah, good yeah, luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, up next, running Chicago, we got Angel. We have Bonky. So these are straight up training partners who practice in Angel's garage. Like, they just play each other. Oh, I bet it's going to be a long that's ride fun. home. You know. All right. More Dictator. I love it. He doesn't play Dictator. He plays Shinai. Nah, he's yeah, got to kill the character. Yeah. They've got matching outfits. Look at them. I, I, again, I like the gray. The retro gray. It's underrated. Yeah, so Baki plays uh, Blanca and Angel is uh, historically known as Chun Li. Saw him play great performances in uh, top eights over here in the Midwest, especially in uh, yeah. 2022, last year's Frosty Foul, since he had a pretty. I, I really like some of the stuff that he was doing, especially with Chun Li's walk speed and just being able to control. I mean, he just exactly understands every point of the X axis, but. You got it. You got the disadvantage when you're going up against a training partner. Yep. He knows your shenanigans. He knows your safety ups. You know. You're playing the person, not so much the character in some instances. And you got to know what makes him tip. And that person is playing you and knows your habits as well. To jump in, catches him jumping again. And that's what we talk about. He knew he was going to jump there. He yeah. Knew he. Oh, he knew, and she was trying to take the steps up there, trying yeah. to get the stops up there, you know? Yeah. Trying to climb it all the way to heaven. But Bonky's like, 
No stairway. No. Deny. And, you know, dealing with the fireballs here can be pretty tricky. But Double the thing ten. is, Blanca's in. Blanca's in. Double ten show. Lightning legs trying to keep him out. Using the long active frames of the jumping medium kick in order to space oh, back. Oh, no. Here it goes. Oh, that's a stolen base, baby. Blanca hop. Yeah, mash them legs. Good neutral jump there. Um, a lot of times, Chun Li is going to be expecting the jump in every time. You got to vary it a little bit. Ah, and that throw. And there's that, what people like to call the Chun SPD. The thing where they're like, Chun's not a grappler, and she's like, yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Imagine, imagine a grappler having a throw that if you are near one HP or like the edge of your health, you'll get the kill every time. Yeah. They're like, there's no way. That's impossible. Yeah. You're looking at someone you can on the screen. All right. And what's the air-to-air -air situation here? Get stomped out. I love it, the stomp, but he times trajectory there to land in the cross up there. That's some galaxy brain on another, on another like, uh... It's a jump in and the crouch anti-air. <laughs> it's too much. I'm losing all my space references, man. Yeah. But either way, he's just going all the way up there to the James Webb right there. Hey, hey look yeah, at that. Yeah, you can't do that. He's sipping the blue beverage. You like, can't what? do that. Yeah, the blue, that's high C, isn't it? Right, right? Yeah, of course, blue raspberry. Don't yeah, okay, that cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, it better be. Better be. Security. Yeah, it had a lemon in there, you oh, know? They, oh, they were, okay, they were yeah. brooding. Ow, stunned. That was one hit away. It's just, it, Grant, it's just locally sourced fruit punch. Ah, locally sourced. I didn't know they were made fruit punch up from here. What? Yeah, oh, they, lots of 10 shows in the corners coming from Angel. A ton of them. I mean, some are connecting, some are not. You know, you are what you don't punish. And this battle, that's the thing. I think unlike a lot of other battles um, in this game, people talk about this game being some honest, Neutral footsies. What? And you they know, do? You know, those people are fools. This <laughs> match. I don't hear that in the top 16. Everybody's jumping. You will notice everybody's jumping a lot, and it's based on either you guessed right jumping, they guessed you were going to jump, or you pressed the better air to air button. So much of it. Ooh. Notice how much jumping is happening. And no one's a scrub. It's just that is this matchup. In this matchup, man, we got the critical music going on here. Angel was able to claw his way. Oh, Air SBK doesn't fail. Uh, it does fail. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Bobby right there. So just it, grabs the blades of the helicopter and just throws it on back down. And I mean, that's the thing. We were talking about Blue Raspberry High C. I call it the do you want some juice button. That jump light punch in the air will put a stop if you guess. Um, that Chun is jumping to just about everything she's going to do. It wins the air to air situation. So in other words, are you saying that it's cheaper than the blue food colored uh, quarter bodega water? Right, you know, right. yeah. yeah. But the thing the is, <laughs> if Chun doesn't jump and guesses that you jumped, well, you lost. Reads on reads, man, yep. I'm telling y'all. We go, we, we not only get into the galaxy, hey. man, I mean, we are pulling on the James Webb telescope, y'all. We are getting that much up in the stratosphere. Oh, block ball, that was that instant overhead. Okay, that you then. Nice. Caught him with the Tensho again. What was he, what do you think he was fishing for, Grand, with that Tensho? Because it just looks like he was doing it from such a distance away. Well, here's the thing. Um, Bonky threw the block ball quite early to get far across. That Tensho would have stopped you know, even a full screen Blanca ball, if it were time to be time later, as well as most of Blanca's options. But that air throw, and it doesn't get a kill, surprisingly. Yeah. Rarely you don't see that, but still, the, able to get the chips and the block to get the kill there. This is a good back and forth yes. matchup here. He's going to go up to one. All right, reads the jump, hits with the anti air. Yeah, light, light uh, tension there. Good reads the jump again. Plus, he got that Charlie Brown field goal kick there. Read the jump you know? again. He's sending them all the way wide right like the Buffalo Bills. That's super, yeah. Too Red soon, the right? jump again. Hey. <laughs> the slide, no pressure. All oh, right, that's done. This round's over. Hey, bam. Yeah. Ooh. Monkey takes it. And we are 2-1. Bonky vibing right now, man. He looks like he's just jamming in the back with the whalers, like, satisfy my hey. soul. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Three little birds, y'all. Yep. Let's see if Angel can respond. I mean, these are training partners here, man. And we know how it goes down in Monopoly, man. Sometimes you got a, you got a mortgage park place to get boardwalk. And you're one hit away from a stun. If you're Chun, you got to calm down a little bit. All right, she's out of it now. The errant projectile. You're telling Chun players to calm down? Yep. <laughs> You just told me that three hours ago. <laughs> All right. Hit him with the juice button. You want a drink or not? 
Oh, got him. And Chun says, no, I'll buy my own. Caught him on the landing there. Yep. Smooth sailing to take it up. Angel one round away, tying it up 2-2. Two -two. Goken, you got to get past the projectiles. And you got to hope that Chun does not reach a jump in. Throws the deep button, gets the stun. Look at that, Damahe. Even if she presses the knee onto the knee, the Bunker still wins the trade. Demasiado fuerte, way. Muy. <laughs> Hey. I just I just feel like I'm just pitbull in the background. Yeah, right now. I'm just yeah. Going, you All know. right. The jump in doesn't read it again. Oh, I like that walk back. under. Yep. Yeah, Angel is so good at, at uh, utilizing Chun Li's walk speed. I mean, it's something that he, like you got you you can see it. It's just so fast. It's like he's just able to really get to like no nope. so, through some of the windows. All quicker right. Quicker than other Chun Li players. And this time confirms it. And we're going two two, baby. Angel on the board. All right. Running right back here. Nobody's changing characters. They don't play any other characters. He's trying to drink off the camera. I mean, at this point, it's too late. We saw it. Please. I think it's Blue Raspberry Gatorade. Yeah, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, cool it's just he's worried about the sponsors. I get it. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, good neutral jumps from both people. Uh, air nobody air. over commits. Love how he stumps the show. What else I really like about Angel as well is his understanding of Blanca's like reach as well. Like even with the electricity, he's able to throw out pokes that don't trade, and that's what makes it so cool. Juice button. All right, Chuck hey. got the super there. Get the chip. Had to throw that out. Otherwise, we would have taken that uh, jumping roundhouse. Yeah, I mean, even though it got the blocked. The juice button. All right. Oh, that was close. And Angel accurately predicted you are going to jump right away. Mm. And that's the thing. You got to vary your jump options if you're trying to do what Bunky's going to do here. Otherwise, you are just going to keep taking anti-airs, normals, and specials over and over. The heavy, oh, I love it. In the middle of the sequence. In the Chicago. No. That's right. Especially it's really tight to finish yeah. combos in these games as well. I mean, Super Turbo really requires, requires some of the tightest execution found in the Street Fighter games. The jump, 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 jumps three times in a row. Yeah, but oh, hey. the Tensho again on points with those anti-airs. They're a lot harder this than is, it looks. Yeah, Super, this is rough. He had to make a choice because he was going to get chipped out. And Angel moves on. Yeah, I mean, he just had the whole deck stacked against him. He had Uno, and on the other side, you had Bonky. He was just staring at a draw two, wild four, all that and everything. So just like that, that finishes the round of the winner's semifinals and the loser's eights. But hey, don't go nowhere. Yeah. Because I know you've been watching some of this fast pace, some of this back and forth action, and we know we want more Super Turbo as much as you do. But we're going to take a quick break to uh, talk to sponsors, you know, pay some bills out here, you know, get us fed, you know, and like, you know, shout out to Vampire Arcadia, y'all doing great work. Stay here on that Twitch channel. We're going to be skipping out, going to a break, but we'll be right back with some Super Turbo awesomeness. Awake, my child. It is so much waste to put on your shoulders. What is this restroom? I have never doubted her courage, but I hope she will be in time. This shall play out as it should. Controller Chaos, the premier online retailer featuring hand-painted first-party controllers. Save 10% of your online order with coupon code FROSTY. Don't see a design you like? Create your own and get it on a fight stick or a controller. Overdrive Arcade. 
out-of-the-box compatibility across PC, Xbox, and PS5. Premium leverless without the premium price. Visit OverdriveArcade.com to shop now, and don't forget to use coupon code FROSTY24. The lazy nerds are large and in charge in the Grand Ballroom lobby area. Go check out their booth for uniquely designed shirts, hats, hoodies, and shorts. Scan the QR code to buy their beautiful garments online. Hitbox. Combo extensions are a brand new style of arcade button designed to buff your controller by adding more buttons to your layout. To keep up with the meta, rather than feeling forced to drill holes or get a new controller altogether, combo extensions empower you to upgrade your current arcade controller with extended 2-in-1 arcade buttons. It may be chilly outside, but Paradise Arcade Shop is bringing the heat. Look for us on the floor at Frosty Faustings to secure yourself one of our limited edition M-Press or M-Press Nano controllers. Looking to upgrade your fusion board? We'll even provide a free install on-site. S-Tier Rugs is a luxury lifestyle brand for the FGC and gamers everywhere. Providing soft, high-quality knitwear, handmade rugs, woven tapestry blankets, and so much more for all your favorite titles. These luxury items are made to order and are an incredible surprise for that special gamer in your life. Check out Data FGC's very own Atlanta Regional Tournament, Max Mode, back for 2024 on March 22nd through 24th. Visit startgg slash maxmode to register for your favorite games. Magical Defense Force is a unique, story-focused, magical girl visual novel featuring a cast of strange and entertaining characters, Monster of the Week action, comedy, a rocking soundtrack, and artistically rendered fight scenes. Available now on Steam, pick it up in early access. And we're back, y'all. Thanks for your patience. Up here, Frosty Fousey 2024. We are melting some snow out here with some of this heat. We're going to bring it to you, some action, losers quarterfinals. But let's look through the bracket right here. Over in the winners' finals, we got Hokuto versus Yuki. Really looking forward to that yep. one. That's Alpha 2 yeah, against Street Fighter 3, uh, Third Strike Gods. But let's start off with the losers' quarterfinals. So we got Climax here. You know, you love his boxer. But uh, he's uh, drawn the unfortunate hand of having to fight another dictator, this time matched up against Jay Pong, who eliminated another boxer, which was Butter Toast. So it's interesting to see how that story comes along. Over on the other side, we got Comeback, who, um, who fought earlier in the winner's semifinal against Hokuto. He will be going against Angel, who just eliminated his training partner, Blanca, um, used by Bonky. Yep. Yeah, bon Bonky Blanca. Bonky, Bonky gets Blanca. a tongue twister, yep. man. So. I'm trying here. It's been a long weekend, Kings. But in Queens, and it but ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't even close to over. Not even close. Frosty Faustings, here we are, 2024. We got tons of action today and tomorrow. You know, we got mm -hmm. uh, tournaments tomorrow, after party, other stuff going on. We're going strong. Yeah, Sundays at Frosty's is usually lit, and this venue is 24 hours, which is one of my favorite things about major tournaments, getting those 3 a.m. casuals and money matches. Yep. I threw out some money match challenges, by the way, but they haven't been accepted, Damn. and that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, so we're going to get right into it. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to pay, some, pay other people's bills out here. Yeah, know? wow. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. Catches right. him with the rush upper. Look at this color selection here by Jay Paul. Yeah, he, he blends in with the he wall. He blends in, you know? Looking like that once upon a time in Mexico, Vega. Yeah, right. No. Antonio Vice and Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah, actually, I would be like, ref, I don't like this color. Ref, ref, where's the ref? You're talking about like Street Fighter 4 Vanilla when people wore red at the volcano stage? Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can players. You know who you are. Right. No, I just like default color. Okay. Default colors? They don't even do that in this game. Yeah. You have to pick the old versions. Unless no, you I'm mean just saying those Ken players in 4. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. All right, one round apiece. Yeah, one round apiece. Good sweep to start it off. I like Climax making some heads up plays. Good awareness. Here comes. How's he going to handle the throw? Tick. Tick. Right there. Boom. Good trip. Oh, man. Another tick. He is headbutting him harder than the wild Samoans. Oh. Oh. Oh, those scissors hitting deep. Getting a full cut. Trying to chase them after the Psycho Crusher. Gets thrown, and yeah. Good oh. headbutt. Put a stop to that behavior. Climax one. Climax gets his first win against Dictators, and he's looking, he's opening up. He's like, all right, I have figured out how to install democracy here. Yeah. He's liberating people, all right. Now, J-Pong's highlighting the claw. We saw him highlight the claw earlier, and I, I know you mentioned he's got to beat him. He doesn't play claw. Uh, don't I don't let he... him fool you. Uh, but this time, he's changed the colors here. Yeah. So we got, we got, 
We got UM Bagel. Maybe he got lost with his own character in the background. And I appreciate that. I appreciate both players wearing green, you know, the orange on the dictator there, because I yeah. used to actually be a, a professor. I actually taught at the University of Miami like two years ago, so that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. These are these are Florida's college team colors. All about the U, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Two scoops, Raisin Brand, and gets the connect with the double scissor cut. Snip, snip. Oh, caught him again moving. Oh, that's Stan Fierce. And this is where you don't want to be, that corner situation. No pushback. It's pretty much stuck in that tick throw. Yeah, Climax hitting hard with some of those duffs, though, but not able to stop the forward advancement of Vega's ambitions here. Take it to the skies there. You've seen a lot of that head stop, especially in this matchup. All oh, right, with chase. the rush good punish. Good chase, good head button. No, you hit buttons. Watch your step. Watch your toes. Watch how Dictator has super. Uh, we've seen how dangerous he was earlier. He can theoretically, if he hits it, go ahead and end this in one combo. But he's oh. got to land it. He's going to go for the chip. Yeah, but still no salsa there. Nothing to dip it into. He switches over to the other side. Going to go for that quick reversal headbutt on the exact frame. I think that Jay Pong was going for the throw there, the tick situation. And see, yeah, he yeah. just ate a headbutt. You can see that. And that's as good awareness for it. No hesitation coming from Climax, the former combo breaker champion. You know, Climax actually calls me an Ultra Street Fighter 2 player. Wow. And he's right. Ultra Street Fighter 2 is a great game. Thank yeah, no, I own it physically. <laughs> Switching sides there. The more head stop, don't do it. Oh, he faded him. Uh, Missed the headbutt. Jab, no, jab, jab, Mr. Jab, Renda, no. cancel. Oh, man, Daigo Umahara is shaking his head on that one. <laughs> no. Got him, too. Oh, he was totally going for linking that in the super, and it just did not happen. Yeah, gave that one over to J-Pong there. Now we are tied 1-1, but Climax is all smiles, man. I see this guy all the time. He shows so much emotion and happiness. Like, I've never yeah. seen anyone more comfortable having a on, good a time. on a suit and ST cap, Grant. Yeah. I've never seen it, you know? It's like it's like us playing freestyling in DDR, yeah. you know? We're just at home. Yeah, no, i say it's the opposite of Fight Cade. <laughs> yeah, they love me over there on Fight Cade, though. Yeah. But for real, I get a lot of love. They no, I believe it. <laughs> A, 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 okay, push to the corner here. Yo, shout out to one of my besties, Blue Minder, too, man. We love hey. you. Okay, so, Jay Pong on no HP. Oh, uh, yeah. It was got just a matter of just watching your stuff. Got caught moving. Said, don't walk. It's like he was bluffing the head stop there, buddy. Climax, like, nah, you're not moving. No. Interrupted. Ooh, oh. head stop again. What's the trade, but Climax is still in the face. I'm just going to keep reaching for the skies, too. Like Psycho Crusher sets up All that right take set up. It's a roundhouse. Will take it the chip. chip? No, will chip. It won't kill, and they trade lows. Yeah, and like, you did not have the health to do that, Jay Pong. I got all the time. I got all the buttons in the world to go up 2-1. Climax in control, looking to run it back from his earlier defeat at the hands of Yuki in winner's semifinals. So again, do or die situation here for Jay Pong. Oh, Jay Kong going back to the color that you love. Wow, this KI gold color. <laughs> this man is out here living life on the Ultra 64. Indeed. Let's see if Climax could, could uh, reach into his. In oh, confirm it into those Psycho Crushers. Got cool. Four times. Three low forwards get the job done. Momentum swinging in Jay Pong's favor here. And uh, that proves boxer players don't have brains. I say that, everyone, I'm a boxer player. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Bader with the headbutt, and he's just throwing out that medium kick Yo, like it was Tuesday. Why? Double dipping it, like, is he playing Chun too? What? Low medium kick comboing into itself? Just super turbo things, baby. He really turned into a traffic don't walk sign. And then it's just an orange hand. Let's see, so the colors change. Serve j Pong correctly there. Gets a scoop slam, and he might be able to take the momentum here. Hey, the With stop. that Got hey. Gave him his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and yep. in exchange, j Pong is on that point. How is Climax going to come back from this grand? Man, Boxer's about to get fired if he keeps this up. All right. I mean, he's just running the ropes with him, too, going from side to side. Take. Take again. Ooh. Fearless. Ooh. 
jumps out of it that time to create some space. He has the life lead, but he gets caught walking. And the, no, he's oh, done. He gets he's done. Yeah, finishes him three hits and does it, you know. Jay I mean, Pong. he was Jay Pong with the clutch comeback victory. Jay Pong. My man, Jay Pong. I mean, we saw him get cornered back there. And it looked like danger, but he was able to hide behind the ponchos and the sombreros there and then fight his way all the way to the burros and take care of business walking yeah. it down the canyon. Oh, that's the loser's quarterfinal. It's a canyon. Yeah. Go to trying to visualize it. Go to bed. Oh, my God. All right, so in the meantime, we got Angel. We have comeback. Comeback, of course, with the high. He's going to go with the Honda against Chun. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 I know. Oh, my God. I mean, the Chun player, like he, he had, is loving it. I'm salivating yeah, right now. Yeah, right. He had the choice of Boxer or Honda against Chun. And, you know, this is kind of saying, uh, I don't think you're that guy. Oh, you're not that guy. Not that guy. Not that guy. Oh, there we go, man. Hot take. Well, all right. Let's see how this goes. You know, both strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. You know what's really funny? The first time I did a top eight commentary for Evo, it was um, it was on the channel Evo Eight. Yeah. So I was Evo actually 8. calling it the Ocho. Oh my god. <laughs> As you should have. Dude, dodgeball is one of the top five greatest commentaries. Yeah. Ever made. Yeah. What are we calling timeout? Oh, okay. We got a screw loose going on. Yeah, this on happened cabinets. earlier. So uh, the you see there's green tape if you look here. Um, that was there, put there a couple hours ago to go ahead and hold yeah. the panel down. I think they're missing a screw, but maybe that tape is not holding, and it's coming up again. Oh, now the ball top is loose. Oh, my Man, God. Man, if you want evidence that the bite, the dictators are jumping too much, yeah. there you go. We're just moving up on that joystick the so much. Dictators over there breaking the stuff. Bezels. I mean, hey, these are cabinets, man. They need care, you know? That would be, uh, they always need care and love. Be careful messing around with those sticks. I don't even know if that's PG. So yeah, we're gonna uh, look into the maintenance of these machines. Yep. We have our technicians on call. Yo, shout outs to Kraken. I know Kraken's gonna fix this. Kraken fixes yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean, we, we see him in Jabali Land at CEO, just doing work, you know? In the Def meantime, uh, we Def able to get a look at people. this uh, bracket again. Go ahead and just uh, remind everyone what these matchups are. So here's where we are. We're pretty much midway through the bracket, I'd say, yeah. Yep. I don't know how to count. I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah. no, you don't need to know how to count. It's not important. You're a teacher say you're not going to have a calculator everywhere you go. <laughs> no, I got chat you. GPT. It does everything for me. Yeah. All right, so Hokuto and Yuki still in winners. That is the winner's finals. We have That's going to be Mexico yet. against Dallas-Fort Worth, yep. Yep. And so Hokuto, of course, going to be running the claw. And Yuki going to be running the Dictator, most likely. Although, you know, again, that can be a little bit of a weird matchup. Yes. Um, there's going to be a lot of flight time. I can tell you that about that matchup. I, I suggest uh, adding more green tape. Yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, meanwhile, we just saw J-Pong advance. 3-2, close set. Go Over ahead climax, and move yeah. to loser semis here. Shouts to J-Pong. He's doing really well today. I mean, back um, to back, two of the best boxers of the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then, yeah, but we're going to take a little, we're uh, getting ready to give you this uh, comeback versus Angel Slugfest that I'm looking forward to. But in the meantime, as we're doing a little bit of maintenance, thank you for your patience and your patronage as we continue to get this. We're going to take a quick break as we fix the machines. Don't go nowhere. Stay tuned on Vampire Arcadia. We're coming right back at you. Yep. Gaming Gen is once again proud to partner with Frosty Faustings. Gaming Gen offers everything you need to run an amazing event. Equipment, branding, even planning and logistics. 
From industry players to tournament organizers, the best of the best trust Gaming Gen with their events. Gaming Gen, industry leading event services. We hope you're enjoying Frosty Faustings as we host the last stop in the Arc World Tour. Mark your calendar from March 21st through 23rd for the Arc World Tour finals to see how the final chapter ends. With discounted tickets and VIP exclusive collectibles, now is the perfect time to get your tickets. Come celebrate the launch of Tekken 8 with Paragon. Paragon Line Tekken starts on February 2nd and will be every Thursday. And since it's ladder format, you can stop and go whenever you like. It's your call. Play more or play less. Slashback returns as NorCal's famous anime-inspired fighting game tournament. Fiending for more tournaments with classic Guilty Gear action? Slashback has all three. Enjoy NorCal's biggest attraction outside of the Redwood Forest. Games, music, artists, and a fantastic vibe. Boston Blue Beat presents Beach Episode Campout. Join them August 10th through 11th. Dive right in at startgg slash beach. Watch out for sharks and don't... Started in 2001, Texas Showdown is among the longest running events in FGC history. Hosted this year at the Royal Sinesta, a new venue just five minutes away from last year's. 20 tournaments on the roster for 2024 and registration goes up on February 14th. So register now and save some money. Don't miss your chance to pick up this year's limited edition Frosty Faustings gear including truly custom cut-and-sew pieces with ultra-breathable FGC Aloha shirts, scarves, and beanies galore. Whoa, bodied. <laughs> yeah. Quentin, oh, Quentin, he's sleeping. Oh, so do you him. know about Q? Yeah. Q well, falls asleep everywhere. Q has fallen into sleep on doorstops, Garage everywhere. There he goes. He's just posing for the body. Bitch. Yeah. This is classic Q. How can you fall asleep during Super Turbo? My man here plays Third Strike. You don't understand. <laughs> Q can sleep through anything, anywhere. I'm jealous of that. Shout outs to him, uh, known as Hologram Mike Ross. Yep. I hung out with him in Seattle, man. Cool people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Could he fall asleep on a spirit flight? Yes. Can he fall asleep in a Dictator matchup? Oh, absolutely. Can he fall asleep in a Honda Chun-Li Super Turbo Top 8 matchup? Yeah, I don't know why you're challenging him. He'll fall asleep during any of that. Well, let's see. All right, we're going to keep Hologram Mike Ross awake here. So, loser's quarters, and yes, we fixed the machine. You should have seen it, man. We had like a Formula 1 pick group come out. Yeah. Over the belt. Yeah, it, it was like Daytona USA. USA. <laughs> yeah. All right, good sweep there. All blue, right. blue skies. Yep. <laughs> I want to fly Ooh. sky high. Yeah, and he just crossed them up with the splash saying, let's go together. Get Yo, shout out to that second Saturn version that ran at 20 yeah. frames per second. I never want to drive a whip like that no, ever again. But they that came, uh, it came up in mystery. <laughs> I did? Yep. Oh, my God. I saw that. And they were just like, why is this? Not what is this, why? You can't even drift on the second yeah. Saturn for that game. So. Oh, can come back, Claude. Yo, come back, yo. Look come back has been playing some good stuff this, also. Why are they putting comebacks cap, baby? I got to understand here. Hey, that was a great headbutt to stop the neck breaker. It was All right. very well timed. Nice block. Takes the throw. Still has the life lead. Throws a short headbutt to keep it safe. Doesn't get the answer. Oh. But uses the super there, able to clip him there. Watch his step. He caught him reaching. Angel starts teaching. And here's the challenge. The round starts this way. Honda is struggling to get in because a lot of times you jump in the wrong range. She throws that fireball. You guessed right. She can hit you with an anti air normal anyway. Right. Um, it's a little rough. You really got to guess well. 
Yeah, I, I like to say Chun Li's fireball, like the width of it. You know, it's a little thick. That's what I like about it. Thick with three C's. Again, I don't even know if that's PG. It's not. Okay, but head and comeback. Was, neither was that headbutt by comeback. Comeback. And just like that, he's proven the namesake out there. That's why nobody they call him told up there. him that round was over. He didn't no. get the memo. He just kept going. He chose to win. He just keeps moving. He's oh. like, I'm gonna keep pressing these hands. He's already doing the hundred hit slap motions. Yeah. I mean, I mean, matches. Yeah, matches. Yep. Hey, good jump, good kick. Pressuring, no fear. Trying to get the slaps. All right, puts himself back into back. the corner. Yep, and now comeback is back behind the Budos. Can he hey, keep him moving there? Slap. What does the five fingers say to the face? They said Charlie Murphy. The tables have turned, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gets hit with the buzz flash on the way up. Pushed to the corner. No air-to-air -air button, so of course Chun wins that. Air nice buzz flash. What's the follow-up? That was thrown early to bait. No punish, but really good situation. This is uh -uh. Oh no, Butt Slam's gonna stuff that out. He's gonna be able Watch to Watch out for Super! Ooh, he ain't scared. He ain't scared. I know it's the second he best super out. in the game. But no, nah, I'm gonna He take watched out and he said, uh, nah, no, not today. Nah, he said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on that donkey and I'm gonna ride away in the sunset. Good air to like air. It's a chocobo in FF6 yep. escaping the castle Figaro. I just beat FF6, breaking? by the way. I think it was mid. Um, I was uh, plowing through them. I didn't get to six yet. I mean, I played it years ago. I didn't finish it. Oh, I'm uh, playing FF Tactics Advance right now, and I don't know how I feel about my life. Yeah, I didn't, I, I, I didn't like that. Oh, he got it. Does he go with the up kicks? Yes, got All him right. down. Chip. Oh, Chip, just enough of that HP kill. Angel, man, I love an Angel's fireball spacing here. I mean, he's really using the length of it to control that X-axis to take care of business here. You know, he's looking good. Like, Angel is just playing this facing game here, and it might be able to get it tied up 1-1. All right, good headbutt. The cross, and jab to stop it, and that was good. You know, just take the safe motion, get you some damage, reset that situation. Yeah, he's just walking back, trying to... He's got the life lead. Yep, and trying to score some, uh, trying to score a big hit here, gets that fireball to press back. In. Yeah, just projectile damage, is looking sharp, like you made Ramza a black yeah. page. That was hey. tactics one, not advanced though, sorry. That's oh, the good tactics. Yeah, I know, I know I beat, I have <laughs> hundreds of hours in that one. In the meantime, clearly Ointo, comeback has man. hundreds of hours in Super Turbo. And he is overcoming this like 3-7 matchup. And yo, I just want to point out there, what comeback did there, that Oicho, and then getting that meaty butt slam to chip it out, that's what I always want to do to delete it. Comeback looks like he's having the worst day at work. Like, he does not want to be here. Yeah, I mean, that's the face of someone who has to fight Chun-Li in Super Turbo. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty much every opponent I had besides Bailey uh, in pools. Yeah. Another jump in, jump kick. Angel with the life lead. Neckbreaker, it hits. Neckbreaker blocked that time. Yeah, I can't. I mean, it's still going to be on the same side there. Anti Done. Hit with the super. Yeah. Tried uh, to force it. On hell. With some great timing and awareness of that hurt box and able to connect with it and take care of business. Yep. But still down 2-0. I mean, man's got work to do. He's throwing out so much of that fireball. How much magic does he have left? Maybe he's got some of those turbo ethers in his inventory. Yeah. Try to get that eth that mana up. Gets his jump in, able to stop it, has taken no damage so far. Hey, yes, super, sense, you can't do that. A chip will kill. And right there, what a way to change the tone yep. by using that neutral, focused, perfect to get up to one. And you see that Michael Jordan shoulder shrug. I just hit seven threes in the first half. I'm about to go trailblazing up in Portland, baby. Yep. And you see comeback with the same look on his face, whether he Ooh. wins or loses. Oh, and he's looking. Yo, Q sleeping. Q sleeping. Yep. Q is out. Q is out. And you see, Angel, I told you he fall asleep. You see what Angel was telling the stream? He was doing the CM Punk go to sleep. Yeah. Tip. He's like hologram Mike Ross, he already knows. He's already hollowed out. Yep. <laughs> uh, lands right on the fireball, and that's gonna reset the screen positioning. And that's the thing that's rough. If unless you make like three decisions correctly in a row, you're full screen again. And of course that favors Chun. And absolutely. And Honda in no way. But come back, hitting that fireball instead of um, hitting the super. I mean, that was just a, a, a best of uh, both evils there in that situation, but still Angel able to chip out here. SBK. Anti-air SBK. Yeah, I mean, not a great anti air, but it does get the job done. I know Old Chun Lee has a lot really of I was going to say, if it's Old Chun. Old Chun's SBK, don't mess around. Yeah. I mean, I, I use that SBK to uh, turn my cream into butter. Hey. Yeah, it does, it does fantastic. Should. Yeah, that's one should. You know, while your blades are in the dishwasher. 
No, um, I, I used my dishwasher to, uh, to cook salmon. Yeah, dishwasher salmon, it's the best. Oh, I love comeback's use of the normals here. You know, he, I mean, he's got get stomped on. But the stomp beats the headbutt there. He sets the full screen again. No. Woo! He gets this one hit of it. That's fine. <gasps> what? What? Did he just, like, donkey kick him with the headbutt? Yep. Boy got the feet, but Angel still in control here. He's like, oh boy, it's up two, it's up two two. And you know this would be a change as well. Um, these two playing each other, uh, pretty certain that Angel has gotten further than Comeback historically every time. Comeback has not triumphed over Angel thus far, but you know today could be the day he's going to switch to DJ. That's going to make his life a lot easier. And it's a counter pick too, so we'll see how it works. I do like, I, I love the matchup much more for DJ than Honda. And I'm actually going to say I like this more than if he picked Boxer, simply because, uh, as you mentioned earlier, uh, there are two characters that Angel plays a lot, and it is against Boxer and Blanca. Indeed, and DJ's got a lot of good ability and some pokes. A very good projectile game as well. It can really cause some problems by just the way that their hurt boxes fluctuate. The sweep. Like, you can't just sweep and fish for no. lows with DJ. You got a bit more money. Angel turning the tide, and now this is the first time he has the lead. He is on match point here. And will it be? Is he going to go man there and yata his way and bring the single young woman to the loser's semis with one more round? Young single woman. Yep. Yeah, to quote the ending, yeah. She's like, I avenged dad, now I'm turning up. Yeah. Yeah. That's my kind of video game ending. Oh. Doing life lead. Trading projectiles here. Needing Good pick. Oh, no, what he a stored lead. It. He stored it. Angel. Angel stored it. The call out. He didn't just have it in his pocket. He had it in his back pocket. Yes. He had that tiny slit in the back pocket. And within the tiniest of windows, it, like the dogging door of the mansion of the loser semis, he was able to slip his way in with that amazing super and a fantastic comeback from down 2-0. Able to take care of business. I love watching a oh, chun like that get it done. Man. Where do you stand, Graham? You know, I have to say that was some really great play. You know, it came onto the wire for comeback. Um, and comeback even, you know, almost doing that after changing the characters there. Um, but Angel held on. So, you know, maybe it'll happen for you in the future comeback, but it wasn't today. So Angel, a.k.a. Hood Pope, going to go ahead, move ahead here. And two-face, J-Pong. So J-Pong manages to avoid a boxer. Uh, he's going to face Finally a Finally after beating bed. two. Yeah. So, you know, I've done that. I mean, that was like when I almost got out of pools. Uh, uh, about five years ago, a combo breaker, I had to fight Chun Lee four times in a row. It was only Mir that I faced in the bracket, which yeah. was the craziest thing. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to reset the characters, change the music here, because, you know, I'm not a fan of having the same song in three fights, and I know no one no. else is. So. And we're also going to see winner's finals. So and I don't even Hokuto. care if it's that remixed, uh, overclocked remix yeah. soundtrack. By the way, there were some good bangers on that because they used some of those tracks in HD remix. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. HDR tracks. Uh, sh shout outs to Army Girl, especially. That remix is oh, so Oh, that remix good. was nice. Yeah, we were just talking about how we think uh, Overclock Remix has like the best version of Magical Sound Shout yes, from Outrun. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Shout out to my Outrun 2 players. There are literally dozens of us in the world. <laughs> God. Hey, man, we. we, we we, we ride in the Ferraris, man. Yeah. We ride hey, the DP from the start from back. Wow. Yuki's like, I know you, Hokuto. I know you. And so here is the Ryu that I told you um, that Yuki has also. Um, again, the Dictator matchup is super fun. So uh, deciding to switch to Ryu, he's going to have to read correctly, get some DPs on wake up. That's and three the thing is, Hokuto has his wake up timing. So you need to be right. Frame one. The only way, Grant, that you can get Yo'd harder than that is if you sign a waiver to fight Mal. Yes. Did you sign that waiver? No. Well, yeah. He made us all sign like a waiver to fight, to play casuals with him at uh, Combo Breaker. That's Why? Because it's Mal. <laughs> no, I spent uh, most of Combo Breaker being uh, Mal's translator. Nice. Uh, <laughs> hey man, that's good. Yeah, you're doing you're doing great stuff. Oh, hey, there's the DP we were talking about. The cross up Tatsu. No cross up oh, Tatsu that time. Hey. And that sweep at the end. Love it. 
Yeah, it's like Yuki had awareness that it was not going to kill. I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and then was able to go out there and get the frame. But the, yeah, he got the frame. That's the thing. You know, that was in no way guaranteed. He was just like, I know you're going to press a button here. Yeah, sticks to the same side How here. How to get out of there. Nice escape. Yeah, using the hurricane kick to escape the Heavy concern. punch. You can't know. Oh, that poor uh -huh. Japanese man. He is dead. He's not even KO'd. He got stabbed like 15 times. He's dead. All right. That sounded like Resident Evil 4 VR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The knife is so much fun in VR. Yeah, yeah. You ain't lying. But then you're like, this is fun. What have I become? Uh, that, that was Hokuto. That was Hokuto, yeah. And so Hokuto with the dive again. Hokuto Hokuto's with the dive again. Starting off where he left off. I mean, he's trying to he's trying to see if he can stick longer to the walls, and that guy can hold the bottle in the back up. <gasps> All right, gets knocked down with the play. Cross up Tatsu in the corner. He actually got the cross up. It lands short, and Hokuto was not falling for that. What a tight cross up there. But yeah, it's still a scramble. Even when you've already made the X, you can take it off the heat, but you can still see that the yoke is still moving. That's and why I love Super Turbo. Throws the faint wall dive. And that's the thing. Against Ken, you can't do that. But Ryu, his DP doesn't reach as far, you know, and it just has some. Ow! Oh, different bump, timing. Bump, 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 bump. Baited! But Yuki doesn't care. Yeah, made him look there. Yeah. Pokido back it up. Yuki, Yuki's got to do more work. Tie this one up. Cross up Tatsu into the low medium punch. Oh, Jump back, go. nice! Jump back, back roundhouse. You got good challenge there. Don't give up, man. These heels get free. Yep. Stab. Oh, that was a bad situation for you. Russell Tatsu blocks that time, throws the DP afterward, and Hokuto was ready to punish. That's two on the board for Hokuto really quickly. Let's what? see if he sticks with Ryu or are we gonna switch? Is he gonna go to the is he gonna go to the boss? Oh! Don't oh my. Are we gonna have a claw here? No, he doesn't play that character. Yeah. It's not hype enough of a counter pick to wake Q up. No. He's still going over there. I mean. Yeah, he's going to go until, I don't know, it's going to be a random time when he wakes up. Chat, let's, uh, let us know in the chat when you think Q is going to wake up. Right. So right now we're in loser semis. I think uh, I think it's going to be about. Uh, All right, one with the Oken. And again, as I was saying earlier, he has a Oken. much better DP for punishing wall dives. Yeah, he, I mean, uh, you cannot bait all of a sudden as Claw because that DP reaches so far horizontally. Yeah, so when, you, when you're when jumping off the wall, you best like that. Miss. Yep, exactly. You cannot take to the skies to it. You will be torn down across the Russian skies <gasps> like a spy plane over the radar. And he it, caught the crystal <sighs> blast, and he breaks it. Counterpick complete. And I, I guess this is an official counterpick for Claw, is old Ken. But Hokuto, no fear at all, striking him back, double flips it. It's only a counterpick if the opponent respects you enough, and Hokuto does Double flips not. it, sweep for the biscuit. Grant, match point. What's going to happen? Eh, we will see. You know, this is doable, but uh, oh, there goes there the go. DP. Yeah, I mean, he, had, he sure you can them from all the way out of the Ukraine. All right, wall dive, yep. Gets a cross up, wall dive, ambiguous center, wall dive, Ooh. and he fainted. He's got the life lead, he's playing it safe. Man, I'm telling you, this may be frothy poutings, but Hokuto's as cold as the Siberian North takes it 3-0 over Yuki. Even in the face of an old Ken counterpick, he he's having care. none of it. He don't care. Uh-uh. Yuki eliminated. Wow. In the loser semifinals. Yep. I mean, and the face the run. winner of the next matchup. Yeah, we're, we're heading into the winner's final here. No, sorry, I apologize. We had one to follow. Yeah, we are loser semis. Loser semis. Yes, go. And that's going to be Jay Pong against Angel. Yep. So this is going to be. Uh, is it going to be? You know the. Uh, it was Tuesday. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Was it the most uh, important day of her life? Dictator has been having a good day today. Um, he's been making it happen. As we saw earlier, being used by um, Jay Pong earlier as well as Yuki that we saw. Yuki doing work earlier with that dictator. All right, gets the stuff. immediate into stun. Yo, ow. Yeah, he's got a kill, that's right. You know, it's ain't who Angel plays. Yeah. That was a nice looking into Nova. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better words too. What are y'all talking about? Steal his sweater and he can't win. 
What? I like it, man. I like I like you just doing a little bit of a combo exhibition yeah. there. Shout out know? to everybody who tuned in, by the way. Frank Punchers, you see you in the chat. Oh, I love Frank. Katie Punchers. Alpha, Base Breaker Juoso, everybody. You are here with Super Turbo. This game is about to be 30 years old, February 23rd, oh. next month. Um, it's beautiful, turn to 30, you know. And I want to give a special shout out to the people involved in the uh, in the team battle that we had over at uh, Fight Kingdom in Seattle. That's 30 yeah. person team battle there. I just want to say, you're welcome. Because right. they have the Chun Li that yeah, me, yeah. like 10 people and I took them out. Hey, I hey. love that. I love that for you. Oh my I God. I love the comeback. Yeah. The juggle, <laughs> Jay Pong on it to start the round. Coming out hot. And here it goes. Yeah, he's the cornered throw. now. He's Tick. cornered. Yep. Tick and that's the thing. Take again. Tick like Carrion Cross. You know, Dictator does not have a reversal in this game. And it can be rough if you get stuck in that corner. I mean, yeah. And he, he, you could argue that he cornered himself there with just a little bit too much of an egregious reach. But this time, he gets a sweep. He cornered himself again, but this time, with Buttons. All right, gets the cross up, goes for the tick throw instead of going for the stun here. You yeah. are in the corner. What's he going to be? And you are going to win. He was matching that throw. That was a call out. He was like, I got the better timing. Near perfect before those 10 shows, but Jay Pong continuing with that momentum. And he is pointing to Amy to make this matchup in one part of the corner where he feels he can make this a one player game. Yay, hey, no stun. Goes for the throw again. Takes the 10 show. Again, a 10 show that kills a perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And that's not easy timing, too. I mean, you, you only can't have, like, let one her reversal do that fast. because you don't want Chun with meter. She will steal this round. Well, that was a good response. That was hit much after the low The neck breaker to escape super. Throws with the tech there. Not able to tech another stun. Well, goodbye. Fun. Fireball reaches. It gets home. Home. Angel from distance, and he's posing. Popping off to the crowd, and they're they're clapping for the man here. They're clapping for Angel to continue. He's, he's spreading his wings out there, you know? He brought it back. Yeah. Brought it back. But man, you don't really see, like, comebacks, like, on this on like the levels of, like, two or three degrees of the back and forth yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right, so that's going to put him up one. And again, we're just getting started. That's 1-0. Oh, this is first to three. But that's what I love, man. You're seeing some really top-level defense yep. on display here. And they may say the defensive options are limited in Super Turbo, but the McKinnon <gasps> what? Yeah. Four mediums into the legs, Nani. Oh, he doesn't link into the close standing medium, but it doesn't matter. What were you saying about doesn't defense? Matter. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's just a perfect. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but connecting with those four mediums, jeez. Two of them, <laughs> double spike. And the stomp in the air. Caught him on the landing there with the fireball. And again, just with the tip of the lightning legs, Angel. With the SPD, because we know if it gets close to kill or critical, it's going to take it out. Right there, he's popping off. He's posing again. Early celebrations for the man. Man, what's next for him? Is he going to sign an eSports contract? Yeah, is that, is right. that it? What are you doing? No, maybe this is where his life goes downhill. He becomes, no, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say something nice. He's doing a good job. We're going to be nice about everything and everyone. Uh, let's see if Jay Pong runs Dictator again. He's going to do it. Yeah, Super Turbo is a good game. Being positive. He's playing fantastic, and they are both playing defensively. Yes, yes, yes. I stand Great by defense. this statement. <laughs> Look at that defense. <gasps> oh, baby. Links the jabs into the legs. Not the easiest way to piano key in there. Doesn't fully complete it, but gets the sequence there. And now Angel on match point. Jay Pong looking for new options to keep the dictatorship alive. China's already walking forward going, GG, shake my hand. Literally in the game. But no count right. Jay Pong. He's kick. running with some scissors here. Is it going to be the last of the cuts? There you go. Good Big throw. Good tech. Good tech. Then the way to catch the 10 show. You can super, no super. Wow. Oh, OK. Oh, That's a This is close. close Watch enough. out, no, no. neckbreaker! What a decisive victory from Angel there. And we yep. saw this. I mean, Angel was up against the rope, down O against a comeback, playing with a killer Honda, overcoming a bad matchup. But Angel was rather was able to run it back. And right there, you could see he's loved by the fans there. They are embracing him. He just did like kind of a Lambo leap over there in the yeah. crowd, you know? I would right. be surprised the crowd surf the man. So Angel keeping it alive for Chicago here, and this is going to be Chicago versus Yuki DFW. So going from facing one DFW to another DFW, uh, let's see if he runs the dictator still. Um, the winner is, of course, going to face Hokuto in grand finals. Will require a reset 
in order to go ahead and win. But, you know, you think about it one step at a time. You don't right. think about all that. Right now, you're you Angel. you got to get past Yuki. If you're you Yuki, think, yeah. you got to get past Angel. That's what you care about right now. Absolutely. And you, you can't think about how to reset the bracket um, against some of what Hokuto was doing offensively and how it's going to come together. But here in the loser's final here, is Angel going to channel some of that big Green Bay Packers energy to be able to take out Dallas once again and make I, it another I, sour week? I think he would resent being told about Green Bay Packer energy as a person who lives in Chicago. He'd be like, don't put that on me. <laughs> I'm not Jerry Jones, Will, though. Yeah, hey, you ain't lying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Lock Hokuto in the broom closet. Nancy Kerrigan, his wrist. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Yo, time out everybody in this chat. Y'all crazy. Y'all talking about crimes. <laughs> What? <laughs> you guys are great. We love y'all, man. The Super yeah, Turbo yeah. community is the best. <laughs> you guys are the best. The goats, Give him man. a swirl, you. Take his, take his car keys. Like, yo, relax. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have to go ahead and give a fix here just to make sure that everything is working. Um, we want to make sure, especially at this juncture of the tournament, that is he you know, still asleep? Top shape. Uh, Q is still asleep. Hologram Mike Ross is down. Yeah, we're a second over. plane <laughs> has just this hit Hologram Mike over. Ross. Yep. He's just stepping over him like uh, a like uh, Allen Iverson and Tyron Lue. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this man is hey. in losers finals. Yes. Woo. Yeah. Hey. Good night. The man is, I'm telling you, he, he's probably going to wake up with, like, one point away from Grand Finals Reset. Yep. Yeah, that's that's my wager, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're gonna, Here we're, they go. Hey, that's what it's all about, baby. Woo! That's going to, and that did not wake him up. <laughs> and Angel continuing his pop-off from the last match. That did not wake him up at all. He is out, out. Man, he was just, like, Angel's just been on some Dan Hibiki energy on yeah. that machine, yo. <sighs> like, you know those Alpha 2 Dan No, nah, I feel like <laughs> an old black parent. He's just showing out for his little girlfriend. I, I, I hear that. Yeah, uh -huh. I see that. He acting out in front of his friends right now. It's real ignorant. <laughs> Don't give me a thumbs up. Look at, all right, look. Now everybody's out here hot-dogging it, like gramming it up. <laughs> yeah. Y'all sit down and watch Super Turbo with some class. Here they go all posing next to Quentin. Look at this nonsense. I feel like the only thing that'll wake him up, we probably need, like, Macho Man to come out with a Slim Jim, like, are you hell bored? <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim! Right. I mean, they're not sponsoring WWE anymore, so they can sponsor us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, what are, what are they up to? What are they up to? Oh, man. Yeah, but we, we love it here, man. I mean, it is lit over in the Lilac Ballroom here. Some, That's where we're at at Frosty Fausty's yep. Lombard, Illinois. We got Illinois. legends out here. We got uh, the Magic Dude, Dave the Magician, uh, Dave Blaine. He goes by too many names, NBC2 player. We got Mighty Mar out here. We got a Typhus out here. Uh, I'm going to give a shout-out. He don't even know because he's behind the camera. But, of course, uh, Mini Maw, uh, Reppin Vampire Arcadia. Shout-outs to everybody. Shout-outs to Servo, who's been doing it. Servo is so cool. Um, I'm still mad Servo eliminated me at CEO Taku. You're, you play JP. I'm not – I won't acknowledge you. And Servo did what had to be done, all right? You know, it's like the Simpsons with Ernest. You were beaten by the best. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Beaten by the best. Hey, they say that about me too, but I'm just I just pick waifu. <laughs> Waifu's always top tier anyway, so you know. You know it took me eight hours to get this Chun Li tattoo? Oh hey, it's dedication. Yeah, because it was in the middle of season two of Street Fighter Five. Yeah. So I mean which was more painful to play Ooh. as Chun Li anyway. Uh, Those nerves were brutal. <laughs> There's UFO, UFO, uh, rep in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, yeah, we got people from all over. Shout-outs to the Retro Revival people. Yeah, uh, we got out. P. Skelly. Uh, we got Great Cat. 
Um, so yeah, this is a room of talent from all over the country and a lot of people keeping a lot of retro alive. So if you out there, you're playing retro, you go into events, you're throwing tournaments, you uh, got a tattoo and spend eight hours getting that thing, you buy merchandise, and shout shout outs to you <laughs> retro fans. Keeping it alive in 2024. Yeah, and shout outs to Retro Revival. I mean, they're my rival company. Because uh, they rep Orlando, I rep uh, South Florida. Yeah. So, but I usually do make the trek up, and uh, me and Skelly have had a lot of uh, a lot of battles taking on with uh, my Rose and his Akuma and uh, Alpha too. So really excited about that. We had a great, great match over at the East Coast. Shout out to Psychic Florida. Drive, standing right in front of the camera. Yes, pan that camera away. What are you doing? Who walks in front of a camera? What are you What are you doing? Yeah, I hear. But no, they cool. And they have provided so much equipment and repair and everything. Shout out to them. <sighs> and yeah, yeah, we're frosty. just fixing up the machine too. We're gonna get you back into the action really soon. And the next match we have is gonna be the losers final. It's gonna be Yuki versus uh, no, not Yuki. What am I doing? I yeah, read here. Um, no, it was uh, yeah, it's, yeah, gonna, it's gonna, gonna be Yuki, Yuki Angel. Angel. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Okay. All right, Anyways, we ready? I, I, my eyes were in another place right there at the hey. moment. My apologies. Hey, you, you don't need eyes. You, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's overrated. Yeah. Like that dude in Kill a Kill, you know, yeah. as soon as he blindfolded himself and he beats up Ryuko, like, yeah, yeah Goku. You know? <laughs> or how about uh, Van Damme when, he, when he's driving? He puts oh, on that blindfold? No, yeah. <laughs> that was the best show ever, too. <laughs> that show was amazing. Okay. Gets to jump in, no follow up, gets stopped. Uh, the HP's pretty close here. And we already got a super coming out as well. Yep. Oh, you know it's serious. Move, I dare you. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I, I love that. I use that as an intimidation tactic yeah. in Ultra Street Fighter 2. And it, it always no, oh. this, no, does not get the second hit, but finishes anyway. Oh, just heads up play by Yuki there. Able to able to just keep holding on yes. and find his window to take it. That was really clutch. Yeah. Oh, air to air with the Tatsus. Hurricane season comes early. He's going to take it on as a tropical storm. Get that juice. All right, Hadouken, you were stuck in the corner. The character who has a much better fireball. Oh, All right. indeed. And especially when he's got those red ones. Neutral drop, medium kick, lands with a the throw there. Hey, good, good not punish! But, but Yuki don't care. Yuki don't care. Hadouken, careful. Sweep DP. I think that was going to be sweep fireball. Yep. The corner pressure there. Missed input. Handshake. Ooh. No Datatsu out of nowhere. No handshake. My man is salty. Yeah. He's like, hands to yourself, mister. Yeah. Ryu with the pointy nose and the flat chin. That's right, you know, Yuki trying to keep his hands clean like he's a soap goat. Yeah, oh no. Look, I don't know what a soap goat is and I'm not old enough. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> okay, neck breaker there, just in the right place there, no anti-air. Push to the corner again, neck breaker, the throw. Look at the meter advantage too, that instant overhead angel does. I mean, we saw him doing that last year at a Brock and as well, the top eight, and it really gave him a lot of mileage. Both got super, oh! I was gonna call that. You did call it. Grand with the galaxy brain reaction there. Get some lottery numbers from this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that was awesome, that whiff. And again, air SBK. That does change your trajectory and kind of delays your landing a little bit, which can throw some people off with some anti-airs. Neckbreaker. DPs. Yeah, that's right. Well timed. Better timing with the Tencho. It's getting close. Cannot to take any Special. chip. Chun-Li has super, but so does a lands right in it. All it takes is just to stick that toe into the water there to yep. get that round on the board. Can Angel tie it up here? Angel is on the loser the low, side. The low trade. So it's Angel who needs to get that bracket reset. If Yuki t can take this, we're going home and watching the Royal Rumble. No, this is not grand. Oh, this is losers. Okay, so final. My bad. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> You're trying to trick the people. <laughs> I thought you were a friend of the people. <laughs> You're an enemy of the state of the bracket. Ah! There we go. Big super energy face to face two? with that super. Yuki was two. Yuki cleanly put in it there, and right there, Angel needs a recharge there. Oh, He's sipping. No. See right there, this was like WrestleMania 4, when Macho Man sends Elizabeth to the back. I can't do it. I can't do it. Ted DiBiase and the Andre the Giant are holding me back. I have to go back and get Hulk Hogan in the form of that blue, of that mysterious, mysterious blue potion that refills his MP. No, I think it's more like the Usos. He has a drinking problem. <laughs> <Yeet>. <laughs> All right, interrupt again, but we have seen Angel with the life lead, and after Super, uh, Yuki just able to mount a fence. He does have the corner here. A little rough. Yuki here. The Tatsu again. Can he get to the grand finals there? He's okay, he's got Super, you gotta watch out. The, the interrupt. But what a trade, trade back with Angel. Angel's not giving up. Oh, but the red fireball, it didn't negate. 
did not negate, came out, but it still took the hit like that. That MK projectile behavior. Yo, you might as well call Yuki J, because he's the main event. Double, yo, he gets that jumping medium kick. Here he goes again. The Does not get super again, so he's just going to take the double cross up. You got to watch out. He's got super. Throws oh! it early. Misses it out of there. Two throws come to Angel, but then Yuki that with the he got three. Greedy. Oh, moves on to face Hokuto in Grand Finals. So, this is some south of the border action here. We are right at it. Texas versus Mexico. I love it, man. It's like an authentic Mexican against a really good Chili's. Yeah, you know. You one know. of those Chili's with like top level customer service yeah, yeah, and they're yeah, yeah, your yeah. margarita, you know? You, so you mean the ones from 25 years ago? That's right. Yeah. You know, just before they started singing about the baby The back. Chili's but, yeah. that exist in your mind from childhood. Indeed, but on the other side, we got the authentic Hokuto. And he's going to be in the winner's bracket. Uh, Yuki, of course, going to be in the loser, so he will need a reset to get this going. Meanwhile, yeah, no, I know these two have been uh, talking, hanging out, um, chumming it all weekend. I think they have hung out before last year for a Texas showdown, maybe. Uh, so, you know, shout out. Sometimes it can be the best. You get to grand finals. You're just kind of playing, piling around with your friend there, having a good time. Uh, hey, you should have fun playing Super Turbo. You should. What else can you do with Super Turbo? Throw in the garbage. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Delete it. Or maybe go back to the 3D over. Yeah. I played that once, actually. So uh, we're having the CPU go at it just so we can, uh, we can change the stage. Even though I love the Zangief stage. I mean, so it, it, it I guess slaps. he's going to go with the Ryu. He's going to go with the Ryu in this claw matchup. I like it. All right. I mean, I'm, I mean, more a fan of what we saw earlier with Old Ken and how that XBM yeah. range on the DP was able to stop out some of um, the wall dive shenanigans. But Yuki does believe in his Ryu. Yeah. And let's see if he can work towards getting the bracket reset because this time, this time, it is your Grand Finals main event. Yuki versus Hokuto. Somebody wake up Hologram Mike Ross. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, I see 4C Joe, if he could do me the favor. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it's Grand Finals. Wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> he needs his babe beauty rest. Shout out to 4C Joe, by the way, carried me on commentary at third yeah. Evo, so I love you, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, 4C uh, Joe's the best. He's a great guy. Yeah, he really is. And he's also from here, too. So he's yep. Like, yeah, so I wanted to give a shout out to him. Well, you know, it's kind of complicated because he spent some time out in Philly, too, I found out. So, mm. you know, but he's uh, repping Chicago. Good stuff. Hadouken. Chip the cross day, good DP. Yeah. Attempting. Jump on, on every jump on the other side. Right that Okuda nice. was gonna hit the bunch. Caught him in the air. Sky's protected. He just made something out of nothing. And by the way, Grant, since you just like explained the geography of the two players here, what better level to play it on? In Mexico. Am oh I right? God. Yeah, you ain't You see lying. the stars align in Super Turbo sometimes, dude. Deep in the heart this, of Texas. Texas. <laughs> this game makes no mistakes. Like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah. So let's see how low are they going to go to get the win. Right there. Yuki They're probably going to go to the basement of the Alamo. The Alamo. Damn, you stole my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Yuki stole that round, baiting that flip kick with the, with the roundhouse sweep. I make the Pee Wee jokes, man. Yay. R.I.P. Paul Rubens. Okay, so. Man, if we had planned this more, we would have had a secret word of the day. Hey, you know. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Stabbed to the trade. Pretty even HP to start the round. Gets the wall dive to at least get him out of the corner. Yeah, Yuki is hoping to, uh, to keep Yuki grounded like Flory and not take it to the skies like Terry. Oh my God! I, I That's a little too far in the playoffs. Talk huh? about it. <laughs> oh, kicking him back there, giving him the big boot. Shades of Cowboy Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Lawrence Fishburne. Okay. Ooh. Goes for the sweep to punish the DP. Nobody you know, knows. half of our chat is just gonna go, "What are you talking about?" I know. We're too old. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> But Pee Wee's Big Adventure is a five star film. Please watch it. Rest in peace, Paul, by the way. Just like we got those Asuna drops. Three amigos, baby. Shades of Eddie Guerrero, even though it's a German suit. Hey. Not a oh, Rolling Crystal Flash trying to get enough of the chip damage there. Now he was able to get the Hurricane crossed over to the coast there. Let's see. No. The super. Nope. Dunking him again. Down goes Yuki. Okado on the board. Is that bottle of that blue Gatorade that, uh, you know, Angel was drinking on stream? It was definitely blue Gatorade, everyone. 
Well, whatever it is, Angel's hoping they can drown in sorrows from oh my that God, yeah. third place finish. <laughs> All right. The damage, they trade. He does have a life lead right into a Hadouken. Yeah, just the flames right to the face. Corner Lucky pressure. Mask still on. Hey. That, that mask is coming off, man. That mask is coming yep. off. Oh, with that big DP, he, he reaches deep from the Alamo's basement because I'm recycling that joke. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. He dead. Oh, he's going to drop. Yep, he is unalive, baby. Ooh. Unalive and unwell. From hero to zero. Yeah, Hokuto with one more point that could put him in. Stab. That could put him in the shape of that. We saw Ow, him. interrupted with the standing normal. Caught him with the throw on the cross up. Oh. All right. Well timed DP. Well timed DP. I mean, that, I'm, I'm sure that maybe would have hit even Bao if he had came off the wall yeah. with that. And he takes it. Hokuto right. up on Hokuto the board two. One more. And we're done here. You can see Yuki's demeanor. He's got a counter pick. He's bringing the red key. And, you know, he is down 2-1 in grand finals. Right. And he's just smiling. He's, he's smiling, but he knows time. Super Turbo cannot end like this. We got to keep it going, baby. Yeah. Now he's pushing him to the other Come side. Come on, Chad. Give him your energy. You know, yeah. spirit bomb. He's hitting on the ponchos and sombreros. And now he's over in the middle. Oh, air to air. Hit him with the back of the roundhouse kick. That's one Jank hit box. Yes. Oh, trades with fireball. Works Hope you don't take my energy. No. Don't give, you give me Frieza the spirit bomb energy. What are you doing? Yuki with another hit All right, there. Yuki, come on. We want to see more ST. We want to see more ST say, wake up, Quentin. <laughs> yeah, my man over there still counting sheep. Oh, he uses uh, the, the DP. DP. Nobody that, was smart. that was smart because he escaped yep. whatever shenanigans he was going to get He's going to not escape that time. He blocked all of that. He blocked it. The Yuki. DP. Nice, Yuki. Hey, how about that defense, huh? Yep. Huh, Grant? How about hey. that defense, huh? <laughs> Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, that's no shorts. That's that defense. All right, blocks in the middle with that nice stab. Stab. Oh. He did. Three pokes. He bumped his head. Got Yuki closer to unalive. It is tournament point for Hokuto. Can he claw his way in there? Nope, he's got even Dragon Punch. All four hits on that DP on block. Oh what? my god, and because of the satellite DP from Okan, they recovered in time. That, yes. That hurricane hit deeper Cross than Hurricane up. Andrew. Three yep, pieces stun. there. Can you get all the combos? One more for the, the reset. Call out. No, that is going to bring us to two. That's going to bring us to two. Yeah. yeah. It's going to bring us to two. Moving it closer to the reset. He saw the sweep coming on the screen and was able to break that broom, stick it out. It is 2-2. Two, two. Are we going to see the tournament victory or are we going to see the bracket reset? Will the money change hands or will it be the momentum? We don't know. Hey, try to go for a DP. He got crossed up. Yeah, right there. He's sneaking oh, some claws DP. underneath those ponchos there. Throwing it to good the corner. Throw. Text it. Really good throw to keep Hokuto in the corner there. Oh, no the DP. Way. Flew a little bit too far on the coast there. I love it. Another DP, the cross up. Good block there from Hokuto. Beautiful cross up there. Trying to stuff him with a low, low fierce there, but still Paul still under the radar. What's the oh, DP again? again? Cross up, goes for it, was gonna go for the walk up throw, got stabbed. Oh man! And I gotta say, Yuki had a lot of momentum in that match, but Okudo just Pearl Harbored him to quote Gordon Monsoon <laughs> with that German suplex. Oh my god, you're gonna get us canceled somewhere. I don't know where. Well, but somewhere. It's, we said it in the 80s. Like, <laughs> he's the best commentator ever. Yes. Well, he's a goat. Okay. Not lying. <laughs> Gorilla Monsoon get canceled for Bobby Brain Heenan? What is this? No, someone's just gonna go, they said Pearl Harbor. We're done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right. Gets him on that side. Real close to the tournament win. Whoa, oh, no, baby. Kuto. How could I with that momentum? And he is your Frosty Faustis champion. I mean, look, man, the side switches were just on so many different degrees yep. of trying to take them on there. And we got it all connected. Hokuto wins it from the winner's side, too. Because how decisive can that be yeah. to take it from up there and take advantage of that? Hokuto with the Frosty Faustus champion. This was a stacked bracket, dude. And nice stuff from Yuki. He almost brought that back. Uh, really close. He really almost turned nothing into something there. Really close. Shout out to everybody who made our top eight, our top 16, not 17. They're crazy. Um. <laughs> Indeed, what an amazing, 
crazy set of Super Turbo that was. You know, that's just the way I love Super Turbo there. It's just Formula One races, all crashes, and no pit stops. No, absolutely not. And, uh, you know, down to the wire, down to the end, just uh, thriller, thriller, shocker, shocker. Um, you got anything else you want to throw in here? I love, uh, uh, you know, I just got to say, like, to see Super Turbo at this degree, like, just being able to go back and forth, switching between offense and defense, and as soon as I mention defense, somebody reinvents the offense. Yep. Just Roddy Roddy Piper style. You have the answers, I just reevaluate the questions. So we get it, but that was just an honor to be part of to commentate this event as well. Thank you, Frosty Faustings, for being, like, such an awesome event, for hosting us here in the Lilac Ballroom um, of this. Hopefully for more Super Turbo. I mean, we had about 70 people in this bracket, a lot of killers, even a lot of the didn't make the top eight that came very close to but amazing performance from these players lots of heavy hitters and i mean really super turbos in a good place so we're continuing yep. to expand that execution ceiling to new levels i mean and what better way to do it than with okudo taking his claws to the skies and just being able to put in that work as we've seen him do in super turbo as well as multiple games such as street fighter alpha 2 yep. but him as your super turbo champion he sets the tone and claw takes it all and I'm going to say as well, you know, shout out to Reminder. This is an international traveler here. And uh, hopefully, you know, the first of many. So, you know, we see a lot of you out on Fightcade here playing with a lot of other, you know, come out too. Come to Frosty, come to Combo Breaker, come to Fight Kingdom, come to something. We'd love to have you keep Super Turbo alive. Oh, alive and well as it is, we see Angel popping off here, had an amazing top three performance there to do it almost, I mean, almost coming out of it into that grand finals. Just like when you really got it through, I mean, the pressure was so thick. It was just incredible how they were just playing like close quarters and just able to m maneuver through each other. I mean, shout out. So once again, your top three, which is Hokuto, Yuki, and Angel. And also, uh, not, not to disappoint, Jay Pong. Beast mode, dude. I mean, Jay Pong with that top four performance just absolutely killed it. All right, Woo! so yeah. There we are. You can do nothing but applaud that. Nice stuff. Indeed. And uh, Q still slept through that whole medal ceremony, yep. man. What a trooper. Yep. Definitely one of the FGC's finest being able to pull that off. But thank you all for tuning in. You are all awesome. And, you know, it's always a pleasure to commentate this match. I try to do it as fast and as much energy as I can to keep up with the speed and the pace of the game. <laughs> it's all over the place because it's just, it's, just, it's just good super turbo, man. Yeah. Yeah. And also, a pleasure doing it with you, man. Hey, DDR, absolutely, yeah. Freestyle champions, outrun two gods up yep. here. Bringing Running the magical it. sound shower on commentary. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, otherwise, you know, thanks for tuning in. We will see you on the next one. What do we got running next here? Oh, uh, yeah, third Ooh, strike. Third strike, top 24. So I know some of you are tuned in. You're going to win third I, strike. I know he's going to be soon. awake for that. Yeah, no, he's going to be awake for that. He'll finally wake up the magical Quentin uh, sleeping beauty down there. They're um, playing Jenga with cups on him. <laughs> I'm they willing really to see how far are. that's going to go. But they really are. Yeah, um, it's been an honor. i got to catch a plane flight back tomorrow morning to uh, Miami. And uh, please follow me on Twitch TV slash Team Chris. Stick around for Team Chris Adventures. Thank you. Um, all the people who made the machines work as well, like Kraken, Data, the, uh, all the people here who worked the machines, fixing it, making it, keeping it high maintenance as we like our uh, standard arcade competition to go. On the other end, special thanks to Vampire Arcadia for manning the stream, modding the stream, making it all work. We see you. You all are awesome. Every time I'm on the Midwest, you're some of my favorite people to see, favorite people to work with on here. All right. Y'all take care. Be safe out here. Until next time. One love. Vampire Arcadia, the Grand K Team Chris. Cheers.
Frosty Faustings is thrilled to host the first stop on the Skullgirls Championship Series 2024. Be sure to download Skullgirls Second Encore and Skullgirls Mobile on your cell phone. And Marie, the latest challenger for the Skull Heart, is available on Steam Early Access. Started in 2001, Texas Showdown is among the longest-running events in FGC history. Hosted this year at the Royal Sinesta, a new venue just five minutes away from last year's. 20 tournaments on the roster for 2024, and registration goes up on February 14th, so register now and save some money. The Lazy Nerds are large and in charge in the Grand Ballroom and Lobby area. Go check out their booth for uniquely designed shirts, hats, hoodies, and shorts. Scan the QR code to buy their beautiful garments online. Hitbox. Combo extensions are a brand new style of arcade button designed to buff your controller by adding more buttons to your layout. Visit hitboxarcade.com FF16 to take control. S-Tier Rugs is a luxury lifestyle brand for the FGC and gamers everywhere. Providing soft, high-quality knitwear, handmade rugs, woven tapestry blankets, and so much more for all your favorite titles. These luxury items are made to order and are an incredible surprise for that special gamer in your life. Check out Data FGC's very own Atlanta Regional Tournament, Max Mode, back for 2024 on March 22nd through 24th. It may be chilly outside, but Paradise Arcade Shop is bringing the heat. Look for us on the floor at Frosty Faustings to secure yourself one of our limited edition M-Press or M-Press Nano controllers. Looking to upgrade your Fusion Board? We'll even provide a free install on-site. Magical Defense Force is a unique, story-focused, magical girl visual novel featuring a cast of strange and entertaining characters, Monster of the Week action, comedy, a rocking soundtrack, and artistically rendered fight scenes. Cream City Convergence C3 is back for another banger at the Baird Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Scan the QR code, register now, and get ready for some high-level competition.